What it is, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. We last left off. Uh, we killed the first boss with uh, no trouble whatsoever. And uh, if you remember, there was this thing up here that we have missiles to do. Uh, open that with. So, and that gives us a recharge room, which we don't really need. If I remember... Okay, it does restore energy in this game. Because I think in... In Super Metroid, there's just missile rooms or weapons room, but uh, all right. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, I can head to a navigation room and see what Gerard wants. Um, it looks like that's kind of what we have to do. So I'll head down this way because um, I'm assuming we have to uh, go to a different part of the ship. So let's let's just see what Gerard wants us to do. Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by ec parasites. Sector 1 shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 site ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes. Or should I say, yes. I have said that voice. Use the navigation room just Inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Well, shit. Looks like this place doesn't have power still. But hey, we can go in here now because we got our morph ball. To get missiles! Bitchin'. Why is there... Why is there this? Okay, well, I guess that's nothing. Is there any other place we can go? Um, so we need to go that way. I'm gonna go through here and see what this is all about. Oh, bad, bad. Energy was dropping. So we need a different suit for that area. So now I know. No one's half the battle. So, we shall go to uh, that one place, the uh, environment of, uh, of the planet, planet environment sector. It's all good. Is there anything that way? No. Oh man! What is that? Samus? Man. And, and he's, wow, this guy doesn't fuck around. Who is that guy? That girl, who was that? So many unanswered questions, like, who was that guy? I, I don't know, I couldn't think of anything. So, <laughs> the blinking means I guess we head this way to one. And, uh, and yeah, so let's head to sector one. So I guess, I guess Samus didn't hear that explosion, doesn't give a fuck, okay. Sounds good to me. Seems legit. This game is like perfect for my my liking because I like collectathons, like Banjo Kazooie. Although I don't like it as much as other people, it's still a good game. Just because I like looking for everything. I like 100% in games, even though I haven't really ever done that in any of my LPs. Have I? I don't know. The main elevator leading to the exit shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time. Unfortunately, some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now get going! Alright. So these bitches, these sons of bitches, they, they want to make the air all polluted and stuff. Holy shit, maybe they are from Brooklyn. Ha! Ah. Recharge room. Alright, let's, uh, let's find these atmospheric stabilizers. Fuck you, come back here. You son of a bitch. Luckily, X parasites are in every single thing you kill, and uh, 
even the orange ones just give you that much health. So I can't open any of those those doors yet. So let's just head this way. Holy balls! Don't want none of that. This must be the atmospheric stabilizers they were talking about. Bam! Okay, that's the first one. Let's find the others. Now these green things, do they also get back energy? Come back here. Okay, never mind. It's gone. And the thing about... The thing about this game is that... Shit. Is, uh, if you don't, um, kill whatever it is that you're trying to kill fast enough... Damn. Fuck this guy. Wow, I'm almost dead. That'll work. <laughs> well, if you don't kill whatever you're trying to kill fast enough, um, at least, or what I should say, grab the X parasites fast enough, then uh, they actually turn into um, either the same, same uh, enemy that you're just trying to kill, or a different one. So, don't let them, don't let them get away. Kill them. Kill him hard. Alright. Yep, that's a trap. See, now that X Parasite might uh, turn into something. And if you ever need missiles for something, chances are, like, if it takes missiles to destroy it, shooting it will just get you more missiles in this game, so it's kind of a moot point. Missiles are not. Uh, sparse in this game. You can, you can definitely shoot them to your heart's content. Whoa. Looks like I can just missile them from the front. Alright. the hell am I going? No idea what the fuck I'm doing. That? No. That involves lava, I'll come back later. Hey, hunters! Sorry about that, guys. People interrupting and shit. Uh, fuck, where was I? Uh, yeah, we got, uh, what are these? Just regular hunters, I think they're called? Or they're, they're pirates, space pirates. Uh, there we go. And there's some rooms that just purely exist to have uh, health in them, so... Oh. Why? Did I not... Okay, I didn't hold up. That was the problem. Let's keep taking these out. Alright. Don't worry, the game gets a lot more interesting than uh, killing... killing these things. Just, you know, at the beginning of every game, you gotta start extremely easy. And it, it's amazing, like, compared to, like, other, um, other games of the series, uh, you actually don't have as many, that many places to go, but it's pretty well, uh, interworked, I guess. Like, you can tell they definitely took the time to, you know, use what was given, I guess, on the, on the, yeah, Game Boy, so. There was a door up here, wasn't there? I think. Oh. Come on. I'm trying to be cool and wall jump. There we go. Alright, there was a, this in here. And I believe you get five missiles back every time you get a, uh, um, one of those power things, so might as well shoot a lot of them, like, just shoot a lot of fucking missiles in this game. What's up, ho? Whew, almost missed that ladder. And I really don't know where I'm going. But that's the whole point of Metroid, isn't it? Not to know where you're going. 
Maybe? I don't know. Could be wrong. This guy would die. Punk he is. With a twist. Alright. So, I think I've said this, but every boss door... Like this room right here. All it's, all it's good for, all it's used for, is to uh, to give you more health and ammo in case you don't have enough for it for the boss. This game is very, con very, very forgiving in that sense. So, so I think I'm at max everything right now, so I'll just head in. Plus, you get a good amount of crap just from the door. Crap. Oh, come on! Break my balls. It always takes three. Okay. So I believe. Oh shit. I'm not sure if we actually heard anything. Ow, goddamn. So it looks like we can only hurt it when it. That thing is like that. What are you giving me? Ooh, the charge beam. This, another iconic thing that you get, because it's Samus, and she does that. <laughs> Sorry, my commentary is a little off, because I've been away for so long, it seems. So, cool thing about the charge beam, it actually, uh, see what it hits a wall, it makes two little things, so it's actually wider. You'd know that that was there, I think, if you had the power power bomb. Bam! And even more missiles. We're already up to like a max of 35 of them, I think. It's ridiculous. I believe that is actually everything there. So still gonna try and get as many things as I can, just on the way, so I don't have to backtrack. The charge beam isn't actually that any uh, more powerful than like your regular beam. There we go, and that's all of them. But uh, I guess if you're low on missiles or something, I don't know. All right, let's get the bridge out of here, and uh, and yeah, that's because that's all we were really sent here to do. Uh, was to keep it from doing that, so... Oh. They make it any more obvious. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna start on this wall. Aha! There we go. Missile tank acquired. I think that's the only one here. Yeah. That is. Okay. Well, up to 40 missiles already. I'm gonna save after that. Alright. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's let's get out of here and go talk to Gerard and see uh, what we should do next. Have we saved the station? Is the game over? I'm not sure. Let's check our map to see how we get out. Um, Yeah, I'll come back to that fire room once I have a new suit. I'm not too worried about it. Because I'm sure all we get is another energy tank or something. Like with, the, like with those things, it, it, it like wants you to wait for them to land to do that, but it's like... Come on. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Ninja Gidden. So, don't want to do, don't want to go that way. So, I believe it's up here. Yeah. I doubt we need to recharge, but just in case. And I already saved, so no point in doing it again. 
Atmospheric stabilizers online! But many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Start moving. I'll brief you in the tro navigation room. So, like, like I was saying, you gotta talk to Gerard every single time you wanna do any little thing. Like, you finish a little objective, go to the next thing. <laughs> Can I get ready for this? As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That's was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. He's got such a weird voice. So let's head to 2 and uh, to Tropical. Maybe we'll get to Mai Tai or something while we're there. That'd be cool. Hopefully there's a place to unlock these blue doors. That'd be nice. Alright, Drawd. Spill it. Spill the beans. Ooh, what you say? I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Sam, it's, it's an X mimicking you. I have named it SAX. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you face the if you see the SAX, just run. Don't even think about fighting. It's like coming up against the unstoppable Exodia. You still very vulnerable to cold. An unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course the SAX is armed with the, uh, the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have a bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out of the way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level one hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level one locks. But per, per safety so per protocols, it's not marked on the map. You have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. It's actually quite easy, but you'll see. So the first thing you gotta do is get to the security room and unlock the level one hatches and go to the data room with the bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. Alright. So what does this SAX want? What is its goals? Why? Just why? Why Why anything? Why is he, why is he here? Why is he gotta be do doing this? The bitch! Fucking bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys, and uh, we will uh, conclude this episode here, like I just said. Jumbled words and stuff. See you on the next episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. K-bye! Okay,